Well, hello, my planner friends. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick review of my DIY fish monthly tracker and calendar. I love this um, insert that I get from DIY Fish. It's part of the V2.2 uh, D oh, let's see. Let's say DS1 DO2, which is day on two pages. Um, and this month in January, I am just using the tracker piece. I actually am doing my daily pages a little bit differently, and um, I'll show you those in just a little bit. But um, I've done a previous uh, video on this, so I'm not going to do a. Um, a big review of this but this was the December one and this was all the stuff that I was tracking and uh, it looks like it's complicated it's not this, these notes were just um, notes I had regarding what may have caused the back pain but it looked it it looked kind of cumbersome and I'm always trying to um, tweak things and make them better so for January I came up with an idea to try it a little bit different However, in preparation for this video, I um, mocked up a couple of days and it looks like it, um, I might be trying to track a little bit too much. So the thought was, the things that I was tracking on the previous tracker, which was my back pain level from the car accident and my fibromyalgia pain and my energy, uh, those were the two I was tracking on the other one. And I would make a note as to whether or not I had taken the anti-inflammatory from my doctor. And that was it on that. And I would note if I had headaches. Because somehow I think all this is uh, related. Well, now I'm thinking, you know, maybe my diet has uh, plays a role in this. And so I thought, well, I should probably start tracking, you know, if it's a high sugar day or, as opposed to, you know, a low intake day. Um, the number of hours sleep I was tracking on the other one. So I thought, well, maybe I need like a scatter diagram. And as the month progresses, you'll see the fluctuations of that particular thing. And I thought I could do them in different colors. Let me zoom in here for you. Um, so here you go. So in mocking it up for this video, I realized Ooh, I'm trying to track too many things in too small of a space and it's going to get really overwhelming. So, uh, with that in mind, I think in January instead, I will not put the sugar intake or the headache uh, on the dot grid. I might just make a note, you know... Um, like I like I do up here for these items, you know that yeah I had a headache and it was a it was a six and yeah I had um, uh, it was a high sugar intake day. That way I won't have so many lines in this part. But at least I think you can see from this my thought process. So I did all this in um, friction pins so that none of it would be per uh, permanent. I just wanted to be able to. Let me get a little bit something firm under here so I can really put some pressure. Um, I just wanted to be able to give you an idea of what that would look like. So good enough. Sorry about the dog barking. So, <clears throat> so I'll I, I'll uh, I'm not gonna do sugar and I'm not gonna do headache. I mean I will track them. I'll just. I'll make a note, but so I'll only have the three lines now on my grid and then number of hours of sleep I can still do uh, using a highlighter. And I think that'll be a lot easier to see if there's a correlation and I can uh, also note, oh, it was a high sugar intake day. Oh, maybe that's what's causing the headaches, you know, or um, I did a lot of heavy lifting, bending, and that's why my, you know, back pain shot up. Um, you know, because I've had several injections now, and now I'm trying to learn how to um, mitigate the increased pain levels and figure out what my, you know, 
body can and cannot handle. I am I'm going to PT a couple times a week and trying to learn different body mechanics and because <clears throat> I've been putting up with this pain now for a long, long time and I I would really not like to spend the next uh, 20 years uh, dealing with it. So anyway, that's how I'm making the changes to this section of my planner. Let me zoom back out. Uh, of my monthly tracker. A little bit too far there. Let me try to go back in a little bit. Okay. And up at the top, I'm still tracking my normal stuff. Um, and then, of course, um, I am going back to the vertical layout in the calendar, in the monthly calendar. I... Um, I was first introduced to this, of course, with the DIY Fish monthly calendar. It's a vertical Monday through Sunday as opposed to the traditional uh, horizontal Monday through Sunday layout that all of us are um, used to. But I got used to it, and um, I like it. So, and it happens to be what I what I have on hand. So. I just do an overlay in Mac using Preview, and I put my own fonts and my own headers in here. Um, the thing about using this vertical monthly calendar is you get this extra column right here. And I'm going to start incorporating some of those 15-minute uh, cleaning regimes into my day uh, so that I'm not doing all my cleaning on the weekends. Um, so. I try to break it up so that I'm doing just a little bit each day. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, my business expenses and monthly tasks. So that's that's all there is for the monthly planner, uh, the monthly tracker calendar of the DIY Fish Insert. Now, um, for the daily pages, I actually am not using the DIY Fish Inserts this this month. I um, I decided to make my own, and so I just I um, I don't have InDesign, uh, which is probably be a lot easier than what I do. I have I have Photoshop, and I know how to use Photoshop, so I design these in Photoshop. I don't recommend it because it's a pain in the backside, but. Uh, this first part is what I set up every month. So the this um, in my planner, this is this is what it looks like, right? So I open when I open that up, the very next facing page is my January goals, and um, I'll do something different just because I like to look at different things. So last month I did it in this brain mapping format. Uh, this month, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to see what I'm, I'm inspired by. And then this, I don't ever change. Uh, so my top 10 achievements, what I learned this month, people I learned from or were inspired or was inspired by, um, the greatest insights I gained, um, why or what obstacles or fears did I encounter, and how do I feel about the progress I'm making. And this progress is related to my level 10 life, um, the goals that I put in, uh, that I've identified for myself, where I want to be and um, when, so I'm noting how I feel about that progress. And then the last two pages for January memories where I will do a um, just some doodling and letters and um, words and stuff like that of the most prominent January memories. But here's where the change is over last month. Now, I'm gonna show you just really quickly. I did a video on this, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, but <clears throat> this is what I was doing in December. And it was a no structure December. It was put anything I want, wherever I want, just as long as I had my main components. And my main components, of course, are the the day of the month, the date, the weather, my mood. I always have an inspirational quote and a um, daily affirmation. So whether it was a, a, a sticker or I wrote it out myself, um, uh, it didn't matter, but I always had those two things. Then I would have uh, what I'm grateful for as part of living in a, a life of gratitude my personal to-do list, 
and um, um, my schedule. And I don't have a schedule on here because I was on supposedly on vacation, but I ended up working um, a little bit anyway. So I'm still on vacation, which is really nice. And then the whole right side was for Bible journaling and uh, regular journaling. So it was a no, no structure, December. I thought that would be best with everything going on uh, in December. And, you know, I really, really liked it. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I do like structure, too. So this month in January, I thought, I'm going to try some structure, but... With the DIY Fish Daily pages, I was, um, I had, I, you know, I could only do the structure the way she had it. And I kind of like when I see on YouTube and uh, Instagram how people have boxes that are just the right size for their, their stickers. And so this month I thought, well, you know what, I'll design one. Um... I wouldn't call this really designing, but I'll make one that has the um, room for my stickers, except for um, in this bottom thing, I use two boxes because I know I need that at least that much space for writing down what I'm grateful for each day. And then I thought with these um, seven boxes, I would have enough room to at least do some color or the stickers that have... Uh, either inspirational quotes or affirming type quotes. So, and I still have the space over here to do Bible study. Um, using my Scarlet Lime Planner Society December monthly kit, I used the washi tape and the stickers in there to kind of decorate these days. Um, and then these these right here that are a little bit larger than my boxes, they're from the... the um, Happy Planner, are they Happy Planner or those 365? I think it's Happy Planner. You know the stickers that you get in the in the books. Um, but so they're a little bit longer than the boxes that I had uh, created. But I'm not worried about it because I'll probably end up putting like this one was shorter than the box, so I put that there. So um, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. I the one I liked the most so far was the free structure, but. You know, I want to make an informed decision. And who knows, I may never light on one particular way and stay that way for the rest of my life, you know? it's um, Life is a, a journey, right? And we try things out and learn from our mistakes and so forth. So just doing a quick flip through of, uh, again, I was mocking up like a week to see how this might work. I still plan on using other stickers. I like to put positive quotes and stuff. Um, I did my, you know, PT appointments. Now, when I log on to work, I, I've told you all before, like the day before, at night, before I log off is when I do my Bible study. But before I do my Bible study, I check my calendar for the next day, and I write in my meetings for the next day. And um, I do use the weekly chart from the DIY fish and so I use it uh, and I move it to every two day page spread so I don't have to rewrite those but any personal items that I did not finish on the previous day I will then write them over here to the next day so that minimizes carryover that you know that just seems a little bit uh, redundant if I were to do it with all the items for work. <clears throat> so this was just a kind of a mock-up to see how this might work. I did a little bit of decorating just for this first week um, and I wanted to see what it would be like to use these cute stickers that are out on the market uh, in addition to the stickers that I get with my monthly kits. And um, now that I have these set up I might even order some um, sticker kits off of Etsy that are specifically this size. This um, these boxes are the uh, Aaron Condren um, size boxes. So some of those stickers that you buy from Michaels may or may not fit in these. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not really too worried about it. But I just thought I would try it with a little bit of structure this month, but different than I did in November. November setup was probably my favorite uh, so far using the DIY fish inserts and have uh, I I 
I modified her layout just a little bit. It wasn't this much with all these boxes. It was probably my favorite so far, but I did find it somewhat restricting uh, or restrictive. This one I might find too restrictive as well, so who knows. But this is what I've got so far. I will um, post another video on this probably in a couple of weeks uh, after I've had a couple of weeks to try this out and see how I like it. But um, the purpose anyway for today's post was to just give you uh, an idea of the monthly tracker, how I'm setting it up this month, and perhaps it might inspire you uh, in some fashion for your planning and tracking needs. So that's it for me today. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.